Hey guys, welcome to My Little Paintbrush. I'm Miss Sarah, and today we get to paint Pika, one of our favorites here in our studio. So I'm gonna be using a couple brushes. I have my large flat, a medium flat, and a detail brush. I also took all of my paint colors and laid them out on my plate like this. So you have your white separated so they don't get all contaminated, and then your pink color separated too. Are you guys ready to start? Because I am. I have my water ready and a napkin. So we're gonna start by taking our large red flat, putting it in some water and shaking it out because we need to start with water in our bristles. Acrylic paint gets really thirsty. So always start with some water in your brush. Okay, and let's warm up with our background. So that's gonna be blue and it's all around our Pikachu image. And mine's a lighter blue. So I'm gonna take a little bit of my dark blue here and mix it with white. And you get to decide how dark or light you want this blue to be. So that's too light for me. I'm gonna add some more blue. So you just keep mixing until you get the color you love, or the shade you love, I should say, right? Because all of us see color just a little bit different. So there's my blue, I'm ready to go. I'm gonna start at the very top of my canvas and brush back and forth, filling in all of my pockets. Because sometimes our canvas has little white pockets that need to be filled. So we wanna make sure we have enough paint on our brush to fill those in. Another thing we do is we wrap our canvas, which means I paint all the sides of my canvas as I go. Makes it look really nice. So if you wanna do that, you can reach up tall and paint the top of your canvas while you're at it. Okay, so we're just gonna go pretty quick before all of our paint dries. And if I go too fast for you or too slow for you, that's okay, that's what's awesome about this being recording, right? You get to pause it, or you can rewind and go at your pace, okay? So I'm gonna move fairly quickly, just cause my paint dries pretty quick here in front of all these lights. I'm gonna paint all around Pikachu though, and I'm doing my very best not to paint inside his head or his ears, but if we do, it's okay. There's lots of ways that we can cover it up later. And that's the fun thing with painting, right? You get to just be super creative and make it your very own. So I've got the top done. So now I'm gonna do here, right between the ears and the tail. Like that, so I'm just gonna fill that in with my blue. Go right under my ear, right above my tail. And this is where you can reach around and wrap the side of your canvas if you want to. Fill that in. Remember, take your time. If you get those little white pockets, you wanna fill them in, okay? And I'm gonna go all the way around Pika here. And then when you get to this point right here between the tail and the head, you can use something called the toe of your paintbrush. That's the tippy tippy point of your brush. So if you were to kick a soccer ball, or maybe if you're a ballerina dancer and you're standing on your tippy toes, that's the toe of your brush. Your brush has a tippy toe too. So use that to paint down between the tail and the head. See that? I use the tippy point of my brush and that, that paints in those tiny little places that are harder to get. Or if you have a smaller brush, you can switch brushes. I like to use the same one. There we go. And paint all the way around there. And then you have one little shape there at the very bottom of our canvas, which sometimes I forget because it's a little hidden. There we go, we're gonna do around the head, all the way down in that corner. Perfect, just like that. And we won't worry about all the other things just yet. And then we have this little triangle shape, see that? I'm just gonna fill that in right here at the very bottom. Just like that, okay? And then we have another spot, you may have noticed it up at the very top, right? Up here by that ear. I wanna get that little corner too. Another spot that's easy to miss. There we go, and you can paint the side of your canvas right there. Fill that in, make sure everything's filled in. I always like to do a quick check and just make sure everything's covered the way I want it to be. And this is where you can go back and make sure you don't have any white spots showing. It's all filled in. Okay. 
I like it. So I'm ready to rinse my brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we're gonna be using yellow next. So it's really important that your brush is super clean for yellow. Otherwise you're gonna have a green Pikachu, right? So I'm gonna rinse, rinse really good. Make sure it's super clean. And then wipe it off on my napkin and then rinse again. That's how I always double check it. Okay, my brush is ready. So now to start with Pikachu, I wanna start with the light yellow. Okay, I'm gonna start with all my colors are running together because I have mine tilted. Hopefully yours isn't. But I'm gonna use a little bit of yellow and mix it with a lot of white to start with. But I'm not gonna use up all my yellow. I'm gonna save some for later. Okay, so I'm not gonna use it all. But Pikachu is a light yellow. And then we're gonna use the darker yellow to shade all the edges so you can save some for later. Okay, so I have my light yellow all ready, and I'm gonna start at the top of the head. We're gonna paint in a rainbow shape, because that's what helps our head look more round, if we move our brush in a rainbow shape. Now if you start to get green in your Pikachu, stop and rinse your brush, okay? That just means you have some blue that got stuck in those bristles, you wanna make sure your Pikachu doesn't turn green on you. Okay, so we're gonna do the head and then we're gonna do our ears. And my ear, at the very tip of the ear on this side, it's black, so I'm not painting all the way up. I'm gonna stop right there at that line and come back down, just like that. Fill it in. And do this other side. And then for the eyes, if you actually paint over them a little bit with your yellow, it's okay, because you can usually see through your yellow. But I am gonna try and go around them the best I can. And if I paint inside, I'm not gonna worry too much. You just don't wanna use that outline, or maybe you wanna change the eyes, and that's great. You can do a different shape than I did. There we go, we're gonna do the top of the head. And then we have this ear too on the other side, right? We gotta make sure we paint that too. There we go. Fill that in all the way to the top. And you can wrap your canvas too, right? You can go all the way up to the top there. Okay. And do the side of the head and then you can wrap around the side of your canvas right there. All right, I'm going around the eyes. And see, I kind of painted in my eye a little bit, but it's okay. No big deal. And now we're gonna paint down the side of this part of the head, and I'm gonna go around the mouth as carefully as I can, just so I can see that shape later. And the top of the mouth, which is curved, like you're connecting two smiley shapes. And then our cheek over here. There we go, now we have the head all done, right? Okay. And I hope you mixed enough paint because Pikachu takes a lot, right? He's pretty big. So I always try to mix a lot of my yellow and white together. But if you need to mix some more, you can. All you're gonna do is add that white and yellow together again. And you're good to go. Okay, so let's paint this tail all the way across and then down and try and brush in the direction of your tail, right? So if the tail is going down, you're gonna paint down. If it's going up, you're gonna brush up. And that'll help all your brush strokes show what direction that tail is going. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and connect the tail. And you can reach down and paint the bottom of your canvas if you need to. Right? Right here where Pikachu is, I just painted the bottom of my canvas all yellow. Now we got the arm, and we'll fill all that in later. Right now it's gonna look like one big yellow blob. Right? We're gonna separate all that in a minute. Right now we just wanna make sure we get all the shape on there and this color. There we go. Perfect. I love it. 
think I think he's covered really good okay so let's go ahead now and you can rinse your brush if you want to but I'm gonna go ahead and shade my Pikachu now I'm gonna show you how to do that okay so you can rinse your brush or you can leave that light shade of yellow on your brush to do this. But all you're gonna do is take a flat brush or you can take a detail brush, okay? And you're gonna put your dark yellow on it. So if I were to do a detail brush, if that's easier for me, because every artist is a little bit different, if I like the detail brush better, I'll load it up with my dark yellow and start at the top. And I'm just gonna outline, just like that. I'm gonna outline my ears and the top of my head with dark yellow. And that's gonna give us some shading, okay? But I do like to float, that's another way to do it. And I take my large brush, make sure it's clean, and then I'm gonna put some yellow on the corner of it, just like that, okay? And I'm gonna do the same thing, only I'm gonna face that yellow towards the outside edge of my painting, and I'm gonna brush it along the edge of Pikachu's outline. Just like that. Okay, I'm gonna go along the top and you can see how it's just a little bit darker and that's gonna give us a little bit of a shadow all around him. I'm gonna do it on both ears along the top of the head. And this is optional if you'd rather not. It's not necessary, but it is a fun thing to add to our painting to give it a little bit more detail and texture. Okay, and we're gonna go around the cheek, just like that. And I do add a little bit around the bottom of the mouth. Just like that, okay. And then we're gonna go around the other side of the head. And along the chin. It's very important you do it right along the chin. That is where there's gonna be the most shading, right? We want a little bit of a shadow happening there. Just like that, okay? So I do add more along the chin. Just like that. And then we're gonna do some just along the top of the tail here. Coming down. And along the bottom. Just like that. And I do add a lot more to the bottom too because again, I want that shadow there. Okay. And then let's do it to the inside of our arm. Just where it slightly folds right there. It's kind of a rainbow shape, huh? As well on the arm. And this arm here comes straight down in front of the tail. So I'm just gonna bring that dark yellow right in front of my tail right there. I haven't outlined it yet, so you can't really see the outline, but it's gonna be there soon when you do all that outlining. Perfect, you can add a little bit around the eyes if you want to. Anywhere you wanna add a little bit of a shadow, right? Okay, now I'm gonna rinse my brush, clean it out, let that dry for just a minute. And we're going to mix our cheek and our tongue color. So I'm gonna to switch to my smaller flat. And we're gonna make this color because Pikachu has, it's red, but it's almost a little bit of an orangey red. So I like to mix a little bit of my yellow that's on my plate with it. So I'm gonna mix the two of them together. Like that, and it just gives me more of an orange shade to my red. And you don't have to do that. If you want it just red, go for it. Because that's perfect. And then I'm gonna add a touch of white to it. So we always need to add a little bit of white to our painting. Or to our paint, not our painting. Our paint. Whenever we're using acrylic paint, it just helps it go on better on our canvas. Okay, so I like this shade. It looks really good to me. And I'm gonna start with my tongue. So let's go ahead and paint our tongue in here. And the top is shaped like a rainbow, huh? So we wanna put that shape on there first. And we do this in certain steps so that everything dries for us. That's why I'm waiting before I do my black. It's gonna be at the end. 
I want to make sure that everything else gets on there first. So I'm going to paint my tongue. And it's curved on top like a rainbow. And then you bring that smile shape around the bottom. Okay, and now we're going to do our cheek. And our cheek is a half circle. Fill that in all the way to the edge of your Pikachu's outline. Right there. Just like it's wrapping around the other side and you just can't see it. And I try not to pick up my brush when I go around. That's what gives me a clean edge. It's kind of tricky though. So we're just going to do our best. Circles are always a little tricky. All right, there we go. So fill it in. Make sure you don't have any drips or thick paint on there. Okay, and then rinse your brush. Perfect. All right, now we're ready to start our black. So now that that's all clean, you can decide if you like your small flat to fill in the eyes and the mouth and the ears, or if you like using a bigger flat or whatever brush works for you, okay? But we're gonna use black. And one thing to remember with black is once it's on there, it's a lot harder to get off, okay? So you just wanna make sure that you go nice and slow with your black. Take your time, don't rush it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead now and fill in my ear first. And it's kind of this half shape, right? It kind of curves around a little bit. So use a smaller brush if that's easier for you. I'm gonna fill it in and you can also wrap the canvas right here. That's where you go around the edge of your canvas, right? If you're ready to do that, go for it. And then we're gonna do our eyes. Now there's two ways to do your eyes. You can do it like this with a flat brush where you spin your brush around and then fill it in. Or you can use a detail brush and outline it first and then fill it in. Sometimes that's easier because circles are just really tricky. They're usually kind of hard to do. So you gotta do whatever works for you. But either way, I find that if you do the edge first and then fill in the eye, you get a much smoother result. So I always like to go around my edges and then fill it in. Now once I do my eyes, I am gonna switch brushes. Okay, because my nose is really small and my mouth, so I wanna use a smaller brush. Okay, so let's do our mouth. Remember your mouth, you're connecting two smiles. It almost looks like a mustache. We like to call it a mustache. We're gonna create our mustache first before we fill it in. And then paint the inside. Now this is where I'm gonna switch to my detail brush to finish up. Because now I'm doing tiny things Whenever I'm doing tiny little details, I want a small brush, okay? So my smaller brush, see, can clean this up for me and fill in those tiny little spots that are just harder to reach, right? Oh, I touched some wet red paint. Smeared it on my Pikachu, that's okay. We can cover that up in a minute. Just let it dry for a sec if you do that. That happens. Okay, so I'm gonna fill in my mouth. Let that dry for just a minute, okay? You can see Pikachu's chin has red on it from my fingers. So I rinse my big brush. I'm just gonna get my yellow and my white again on my brush, all ready to go. And then you can cover right up. Make sure it's dry though, because if you start painting that, with the red, you're just gonna end up getting an orange Pikachu, which is okay, if you're okay with that. All right, so I'm just gonna now paint over it and let it dry a sec, and then I'll come back and make sure it's totally covered. Go 
cover him up. Cover up any little spots. All right, so if, if your mouth is dry, we can go ahead now and get ready to do all of our finish work. We are going to now do our outlining and you'll start to see Pikachu now. So this is where you get to put the eyes on there, the highlighting so it looks like he's really smiling at you, and all your outlines. So now I'm gonna take my detail brush and what I like to do is add water to that black and thin it out. Super important that we do that. So it's kind of inky like that, see? I'm gonna add water and spin it in my black. Just like that. Got my detail brush ready. And I'm gonna start at the top. That way I don't smear my paint as I go, right? So I'm gonna start at the top and we're just gonna outline our ear. Just like that. I wanna make sure I don't smear any of my paint. Okay, now I'm coming in a little bit on the top of the head, right? So you see how I came in just a little bit there on either side to separate my head from my ear just slightly. You don't have to go all the way across, but just enough that it separates it a little bit. Now we're gonna come and do each ear, coming down on each side like that and again I'm going to come in just a little bit on the other side of the head but this way you don't have to worry about outlining all the way across that head it's kind of tricky to do so that saves you a little bit of time but you still get the, the look you know okay I'm going to go down the bottom of the ear right there and we're going to come in a little bit on this side too just like that and around the cheek. Now remember, your lines, they can be big, they can be small. It really depends on how hard you're pressing with your brush. So everyone's lines are a little different. So I'm gonna come around the cheek and then I'm gonna follow that line down under the chin, just like that. So cute, right? Okay. And now, if my mouth is dry, I can put my nose on. I just didn't want to smear it. So I wanted to be really careful with that. But we're gonna finish up our mouth and our nose now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my nose just right above the point of my mouth. And it's an upside down triangle. So I always start with my triangle shape like this. I paint my triangle shape, see that? And then I fill it in. Now after you get the triangle shape, you can leave it or you can round it out a little bit like I did. So now I'm going to curve my edges and it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? I'm just going to round it out and fill it in. That's it. Just like that. Now let's finish up the mouth because there's more to this mouth. Okay, so I'm going to come out to make Pikachu look like he's really smiling big. We're going to start a little bit away from the mouth. And this is where you can imagine you are putting a mustache on Pika. See how I came out away from the mouth just a little bit? Okay. And then we're gonna follow the mouth around if you want to. Now we're gonna start at the edge. And we're gonna follow it around and outline all the way around that tongue, okay on both sides. Just like that. Perfect. Let that dry. And while that's drying, let's go ahead and finish up our arms. So I'm gonna outline my arm right here. Just like that. And this arm over here. So see how it separates it right there? So it looks like his arm's coming straight down, right? Okay, and then let's do our tail. And I like to start at the corner of the tail and brush down, just like that. And then go the opposite direction. 
And that gives my tail a nice point there. And then all the way to the arm. And you don't have to outline this tail. If you like your pika without it being outlined, that's great. You don't have to. Okay, now we gotta separate the tail. And right here, to separate it, I'm just gonna come out a little bit and come straight down. Just like that. Perfect. I love it. It's looking so cute, right? I'm gonna rinse my brush and let's do our highlighting. I'm gonna show you different ways to highlight. But first, let's get our biggest brush, flip it around so it's upside down, and dip it in some white. This is the best way to stamp those white reflections in our eyes. And you can put them wherever you want, but I kind of have his going up. See that? Straight up towards each other at the top of the eye. You can spin your brush if you want a bigger circle. Right? Or you can just stamp it to get a little circle. So underneath that, I'm just gonna do a little stamp on each side. Just like that. Pretty close, right? There we go. Now we're gonna do the highlighting. And to do our highlighting, you can use a detail brush or you can use a line brush. That's up to you on what you wanna do with highlighting, okay? Now I'm just gonna make sure any little spots here like that, see? Just fill them in. Always remember with acrylics, you can always go back and cover things up. Not a big deal at all. Right? There we go. Okay, I think it's ready though. I think it, mine is dry enough. If yours isn't dry enough, maybe let it keep drying just a little bit longer. Just wanna make sure you don't smear the black. The black is the one thing we just don't want it to smear. So I always try to make sure that black is ready before I finish. I think it's about there. I think we're ready for it. Let's see. Pretty close. Okay, so I'm going to float or you can outline, and I'll show you both. Okay, now if your eyes are totally dry, you can take your eye color, whatever you want. I'm gonna do mine blue. I think Pikachu has blue eyes. So I went with blue. But I'm gonna use my detail brush here and put some blue on it. And I'm just gonna put a smile shape in both eyes, right along the bottom. I'm gonna smile just like that, see that? And that gives them blue eyes without you having to fill the whole thing in. Let's give them a little smile right along the bottom of those eyes. Okay, now I'm gonna rinse my brush and now I'm gonna put white on it. And this is gonna be my highlighting, so I'll show you with my detail brush. And you can do all the highlights with your detail brush if you want to. So I'm gonna start with the top of the nose. I have a little bit of white and I curve it just a little bit on the top. And I have a little bit in the tongue. I'm gonna to curve the top of the tongue. See that? And you can keep going with your detail, or you can switch to your flat and put a little white on the corner of your brush like that. I just turn it sideways and put a little white on it. And then I use that corner to highlight. It just has slightly different look to it. It's a little bit of a softer highlight, but they're both great. So you do whatever you prefer. But I'm gonna do it on both my ears there. Whoop. I'm gonna do it on my tail. See that, just along the top of the tail. And then I have a little bit in my arm right here. This just shows some stuff off, you know? Anytime you have a chance to add a little bit of light to your painting, do it. It really brightens it up. And then I'm just gonna put some on my cheek too, right here, see that? Not a lot, just a little bit. And you can put a little more on the bottom of the tongue. 
anywhere you like. Just like that. And then guys, you did it. Such a cute Pikachu. I'm gonna take my little detail brush now and I'm gonna sign my name because I'm pretty proud of myself, right? You should be proud of yourself for creating this with me. I hope you had a lot of fun. Find a little spot for your name because every artist leaves their mark, right? So I'm gonna leave mine right here. Sign my name. You could put a smiley face or a star or a heart or your initials, whatever you want. And there you have it. Thank you for painting with me. I hope you had a good time. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give us a thumbs up. That helps so much and subscribe and we'll paint with you again next time. Bye-bye.